Hey everyone, we're very lucky today to have our favorite guest, Tom Tran, back on the show. And Tom is going to show us around his newly completed flip in El Cerrito. Tom, welcome back. Yeah, it's always good to be back. We're always happy to share our project. So this is uh, a, an exciting one because this is the most expensive remodel uh, that we did. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, wow. even though it's a small house, it's the most expensive remodel. Wow, <laughs> it's, it doesn't really doesn't look that big. How big right. is the house? The, this house is only uh, 1,100 square feet, 1,150 so, or so. so. Yeah, pretty small. Yeah. Yes. But how, how, how is it so expensive? <laughs> yeah, we were surprised too. We had to redo everything. So electrical, uh, add a new bathroom, oh, wow. a lot of landscaping. Uh -huh. So we'll, we'll show you all the remodel inside. Okay, yeah. sounds good. And Tom will also show us the numbers He's at the end of the video. Right. right. So s make sure you stay until the end. So Tom, can you tell us what you did on the exterior? Yeah, so this uh, ex exterior we did a lot. Um, we painted the outside. Uh -huh. We had to put a whole new driveway. Oh, wow. Yeah, because the other driveway was all cracked. You couldn't even uh -huh. drive up. It's, it's really bad. Okay. Yeah, so a whole new driveway that cost that's, around 5000 That's expensive. Yeah, and then the landscaping was really expensive. Uh, landscaping was 10000 just for labor. Oh wow. Uh, not including all the rocks and plants and everything. Uh -huh. So I think that was about five grand for all the materials. Wow. So 15,000 for landscaping, 5,000 for the uh, concrete. And then we had to do sewer lateral. Oh my gosh. Yeah, so in, in, in these areas we had to do sewer lateral because it's so old. Uh -huh. So that was another like 7,000 or so. Oh jeez. So before we even go inside, we already spent like 30, <laughs> 40 grand. Just oh like my that. Oh gosh. Yeah. But the landscaping came out so good, so pretty. I was drawn <laughs> to this front yard garden. Yeah, glad you like it because it was good expensive. <laughs> yeah. yeah. How did you decide to do rocks and plants versus sod? Yeah, so we wanted a super low maintenance uh, uh -huh. landscaping. Right. And uh, our, our landscaper designed it out. Yeah, so he chose all the plants and rocks. We wanted to stay away from mulch. Uh -huh. Mulch is very messy. Right. Yeah. Right, mulch is um, cheaper right. in the beginning, but in the long run, it, it's going to take maintenance every year and exactly. it flies everywhere. So rocks look a lot more high-end. Yeah, rocks are high-end, rocks yeah. last forever, uh -huh. and you never have to water them. How about this path here? It looks so new. Yeah, so this one is actually the original, the original walkway. Okay. It was like this pink color, really ugly. Uh huh. Um, so we had extra paint from the exterior, okay. and then we decided just to paint it all the way through. Oh wow, it's just paint, but yeah. it looks new. I yeah. need to get your paint color. <laughs> yeah, I think it's called Urban Bronze. Okay. Urban Bronze, yeah. Our designer, Margie, is really good at picking colors and designing oh, everything. Yeah. So she, she thought out um, the whole design. Uh -huh. Yeah, so Urban Bronze, and then that's like an off-white or something, or a bright white. Uh -huh. I forgot. Yeah, I like this con <laughs> high contrast look, and yeah. it makes the house look so new. Right, right, yep. It makes awesome. it nice and new. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we save a lot of money by just painting it. Right, right. Yeah. Awesome. And, yeah, you want to go inside and check it out? Yeah, let's okay. do that. All right. <laughs> this interior feels so cozy and bright. Yeah. What did you do here? Yeah, so this one, um, we painted the, the walls, and uh -huh. then we, we tried to make the texture a little bit smoother than it was before. So um, you had to retexture the whole house? A little bit, a little okay. bit. We kind of like sand it down more than it was before. So it's make, smoother. It feels a little bit smoother. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So we did that and then um, new windows in the living room. Okay. Um, we try to save money because it's a huge window. So it's very expensive. Uh -huh. That window probably cost $800. Um, but then there's fog in it. So we couldn't really save it. It's, Condensation between yeah. the the paints. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. We thought we can clean it, but we, we couldn't clean it. No. So that cost 2,500 new windows. Right. Uh, new fireplace right here. It's very cool. It's a, <laughs> a statement fireplace. This is one of a kind. Uh -huh. Yeah, you like the tiles? It's like, it's, it's, it's loud. It's <laughs> like the geometric patterns. Yeah, it's it's yeah. pretty cool. And it has a little texture. It kind of feels like jeans or something. Yeah. <laughs> like, this fireplace, mm -hmm. I think you mentioned last time, right? It was yeah. a really good deal. Right. Yeah. Marty's really good at finding deals. So uh -huh. she got this for like 250 but That's usually it's crazy. like a thousand. Yeah, um, yeah. Because this one actually has heat too. Mm -hmm, yeah. So it's mm -hmm. pretty good. Yeah. With cool colors. I mm -hmm. think it's a, it's a very good feature wall. Yeah. Yeah. yeah our statement awesome. piece. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then new recessed lighting, uh -huh. um, the new door, 
That's yeah, the, the front H door is pretty cool. Yeah, HD supply. Uh -huh. I think it's only like a thousand dollars or eight hundred dollars or so. So okay. it's not too expensive. Okay. Yeah. I really like these two um, pendant lights yeah. that you did here in the dining. So we, we didn't have much space for the dining, so we, we yeah. figured if we have two lights, it has uh -huh. an illusion that it's bigger. Right. Yeah, because if we had just one light, it feels small. Yeah. So now it feels like wider from the dining space. Yeah, they look really good. <laughs> and with this um, kind of wood colored um, floors, mm -hmm. it, it matches, it brings out this kind of rustic yeah. feel. Yeah, kind of a mid-century rustic in a way. Uh -huh, yeah. Uh -huh. This little nook area is really cute. Mm -hmm. How did you come up with this idea? So um, uh, Marjorie wanted to maximize the area. Uh -huh. uh, this is a really strange, this is the uh, closet hallway, hallway closet from before. Oh, it was a closet. Yeah, so okay. it's very narrow. Uh -huh. um, so Marjorie is thinking, hmm, how can we make it feel open? So she cut open the wall. To and make then, the niches. Yeah, custom spice rack. Oh, um, very, that's, that's super cute. Yeah, <laughs> very simple, very easy. It's just an uh -huh. opening and then you drywall it. And it's very functional because very functional. a lot of times when you put the spice in the cabinets, mm -hmm. like it's really hard to get them. Yeah, yeah, you don't know where they are and stuff. This yeah, is awesome. So this is all open, you can see everything. And we uh -huh. have shelving on both sides. Right. So that's, that's nice, uh, lots of storage. So this is like a pantry. Yeah, yeah, it's a pantry, a walk-in pantry, right? With, very cool. With very no cool. doors. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. That's mm -hmm. that's a great idea. I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm taking notes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Cool. And this kitchen is so bright. Yeah. So with the white yeah. um, European style cabinets. Exactly. We wanted to try the European style because that's mm -hmm. that's more like mid-century type of look. Mm -hmm. um, it was pretty expensive though. I would say it was around like fifteen thousand for uh, materials. Oh wow. It's super custom. It, it, it's, it's custom sizes more than um, the standard 36, 30. Uh -huh. It could be anything. It could be like 11 inch, it could be 11 and a half. Oh, so it's like okay. the perfect fit for this kitchen. Oh, cool. Very yeah. cool. And this glossy finish mm -hmm. makes the space feel bigger because yeah. it reflects the light. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, so nice. glossy kitchen and then it went to all the way to the ceiling. Mm -hmm. So we have the nice covering on top. Mm -hmm. um, and then we had the marble countertops. Mm -hmm. So these these aren't too expensive. I think they're like five hundred dollar per piece. Okay. So not prefab, too bad. Prefab um, countertops. Yeah, prefab. Yep. At Uni Marble. This countertops match the backsplash. Yeah. And the backsplash <laughs> is the same from the, the fireplace. fireplace. Yeah. So yeah. we wanted to so incorporate that. So it all ties that. in together. Exactly. Nice. Yeah. So this is the first of the three bedrooms mm -hmm. and it's the smallest one? Yeah, this one's pretty small. Mm -hmm. It has access to the backyard. Um, so it's kind of like an office slash bedroom. Mm -hmm. And uh, we made the slider door bigger um, because before we, we went with the standard width, it's like 72, 8, uh -huh. 86, not that big. So we went as big as possible on the it slider door. It looks so much better. Yeah, yeah, much brighter, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah, and then um, this ceiling light is cool. It, yeah. <laughs> it matches the pendant light in the dining room. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, so matching lights. Uh, no more recess lighting in the bedroom, so we're trying mm -hmm. to save money. Right. But if you have one light that stands out, it's, it's okay. Yeah, it's yeah. a nice decor. Mm -hmm. This bathroom is so spacious. Mm -hmm. What did you do here? Yeah, so this is actually a brand new bathroom. Wow. Yeah, this is where the hallway used to be with the, uh, the furnace and stuff. Um, so we had to move the whole furnace to the garage. Okay. Yeah, which is kind of expensive. That was like $4,000 to move all that. So you added the, this just mm -hmm. where the hallway and the furnace was. Yeah. That's, that's cool. It's just, <laughs> actually really big space yeah this, this is a nice big space we pushed the wall back a little bit so mm -hmm. we had some room and then we pushed the wall into the living room oh, so okay. yes yeah, so, so to make this room uh, bigger than a standard bathroom mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's that's cool you added so much value by doing that yeah <laughs> yeah and i like the finishes here it's so white mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. It actually makes the space feel bigger than it is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, nice and white. It feels like a spa. Mm -hmm. um, we have to tile all the walls so it can be waterproof. 
So if they shower here, they can splash water everywhere, it's okay. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. And the 3D tile is such a nice style. Very modern, mid-century modern type of look. This, yeah. this tub is so huge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a HD supply. Yeah, it's really cool, big tub. Mm -hmm. uh, originally, we wanted to put it in the master, but the master bathroom is too small. So we put it here, which actually worked out better because this room is much bigger. It feels very luxurious. Yeah. <laughs> I especially like this modern pedestal sink. Yeah, something different, right? You don't right? see it very often, but <laughs> it feels super clean mm -hmm. and um, it gives it a nice style. Yeah, yeah, very simple, modern, and uh, very easy to clean. Mm -hmm. and it's like an art piece. <laughs> exactly. And this vanity light is mm -hmm. so cool. I've yeah. never seen anything like that. It's like little, uh, two little mushrooms. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of cool, huh? It's black with the wood. Uh -huh. So Margie found that, and uh, she's really good at tying things together. Yeah. Yeah. And the black hardware stands out from the white mm -hmm. tiles. It ties into the entire theme of the house. The exterior is also black and white, high yeah. contrast. Exactly. We like the high contrast. It's nice and clean, simple. This kid's room is so cute. <laughs> You like it? Yeah, yeah, especially this part. Yeah, this is super custom um, designed by IKEA <laughs> that we just made. We just made up um, because we had we had two extra closets, so we're thinking should we build a closet or put it in here? Uh -huh. At first, I put it side by side. That was really ugly. Right. So then Margie said, "Hey, why don't we put it on each side and then put a table in the middle?" That's super smart. Yeah. <laughs> it feels like it's. A design space now yeah. with the with the little desk here. Right, <laughs> so they can do their homework. They have little shelves, so mm -hmm. it worked out better. So I actually like doing this more than building closets now, because if you build that closet, it's really boring. And the the framed out closets mm -hmm. take up so much space yeah. versus the IKEA closets. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. So and just this is a lot more functional. Way more functional. Yep. Mm -hmm. So um, IKEA is only like I think six hundred dollars each one. Um, so it wasn't too bad. It's, cost it's cheaper too. than framing a whole closet. Right. Yeah. This bathroom is super stylish. Yeah. Can you tell us the work you did? Mm -hmm. So this was the existing bathroom mm -hmm. and um, it's, it's a little bit smaller so we had to try to maximize the space. Right. So the vanity, we made it bigger than normal. It's usually only like 30 inch but we stretch it all the way. This is probably like 40 inch vanity. Uh huh. And then a nice sink on top. Yeah, um, it's a, a unique design. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Looks nice, and this black trim, yeah, and white on, <laughs> on top of the white sink yeah. actually ties. Kind of, kind of matches. <laughs> yeah, matches everything else. Yeah. perfectly. And then same countertop as the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So we had an extra. We just put it here. Mm -hmm. um, LED mirror lights, mm -hmm. and then the matching hanging lights with yeah. the dining room. So That's it all comes very together. Very cool. Yeah. And then you like the tiles, it's also 3D uh -huh. um, with, with a little texture. So all the tiles have a little texture to it. I like that you did two niches, mm -hmm. two um, smaller niches that yeah. actually um, feel very balanced mm -hmm. and really nice. Yeah, we figured one is too big right, for a small space, so two mm -hmm. make it look like two skinny, um, two skinny niches. It's pretty cool. <laughs> so this is the master bedroom. Mm -hmm. There was not a master bedroom before. Yeah, exactly. Before you added the new bathroom. Right? Yes. So this was the guest bathroom, oh, okay. and then all we did was stretch out the wall this way, and then we put a door. So uh -huh. now it's a master suite. It's private. That's, <laughs> yeah. that's really genius. Mm -hmm. So one easy way to make a master suite. So let's check out the master bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. It's a. Uh, a new recess lighting. We put recess in the master uh -huh. just to have one room make it feel grand. Uh -huh. And then we added this cool little light. And it has a ceiling fan. Isn't that convenient? Nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's really, really cool. Yeah. I've never seen a ceiling fan that that's small. cute. <laughs> <laughs> so Marty found that. So it's, I don't know where she found that, but that, I thought that was the coolest thing ever. It matches the other light it fixtures does. too. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Mm -hmm. And you put in the closet insert? Yeah, closet insert. So mm -hmm. we didn't want the boring rod and the closet was bigger than normal. So I got this on Amazon for I think 300, 400 bucks. Um, but it makes the closet feel custom. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's a very nice touch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, we didn't talk about the vinyl 
Is it vinyl floors? Oh yeah, luxury vinyl, waterproof and everything. Uh -huh. Uh, I think this is about two dollars and fifty square feet. That's it's a great price. usually three dollars, but uh, we bought a lot. We bought like ten thousand square feet of it. So you got wholesale price. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Cool. It looks very modern and stylish. Yeah. This backyard feels really peaceful. What did you do here? So luckily, uh, this backyard was really big to begin with. We had a lot of space, and then uh, we also had a deck when we when we purchased the house. So this was existing. Yeah, this is existing. Okay. Uh, the only thing we added was the handrails because okay. it didn't have the metal handrails. Uh huh. So that was kind of expensive. That was also another like three or four grand. Oh wow. Yeah, just for handrails. Wow. Yeah. And you painted it the same color. Yeah. With the exterior. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So we're following the same urban bronze type of look. Uh huh. Yeah. This it one. Really, the, it works. Yeah. Really well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It looks good, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So it kind of flows, and um, uh, we we also painted the concrete. No way. Yeah. I totally thought it was new. Doesn't that look new? <laughs> it looks brand yeah, new. Yeah. This is a Home Depot concrete paint, uh, slate gray or something that's like that. That's a really that's a really good color. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so it makes it look nice and new. Awesome. Um, we took out the little wood in between. Uh huh. That way we put new wood just to have right. a nice, fresh, new look. Right, right. Yeah, so that, that wasn't too much. Um, that's, that's really a good cost saver. Yeah, yeah. Just paint and wood, and then mm. we put a new fence okay. just on one side. Okay. Yeah, because that's, that's how it was pretty bad. Um, all the other side, we tried to save money, so mm -hmm. we just painted, painted it. Painted this. A similar color similar that color. matches. Yeah. Yeah. Fence yeah. is expensive to replace. Yeah, very expensive. Yeah. It, it can cost up to like five grand per section. Mm -hmm, so, mm -hmm. so by painting it, we save five grand, and then the paint only costs like two hundred bucks yeah, for yeah. five gallons. Yeah. Good job. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks really nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice big backyard. Uh -huh. So it's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, a little bit of landscaping as well uh -huh. from the landscaper. Right. Yeah. Right. So he he built that little area. So make it look a little bit more cozy. After showing you the highlights of this designer house flip, let's take a look at the flow of the home. Right after this walkthrough, Tom will share with us all the numbers. Don't go anywhere. Tom, thank you so much for showing us around your beautiful flip. Yeah, my pleasure. Can you share with us the numbers? Yeah, so this one we bought for $820. Uh, originally, we were thinking only putting $80,000 because there's only three bed and one bath. Mm. So we're thinking this is easy remodel, we can knock it out in like a month or two. Right. Um, but we decided to add a bathroom. Uh -huh. um, and then with the permit and everything, this product took uh, almost 10 months from beginning to end, almost a year. Yeah, when you add a bathroom, it's like you have to submit plans and yeah. hire an architect. Yeah, exactly. So architect was about uh, 4500 and then the city fees were another couple of thousand. Um, and then this house was really old, so we had to rewire the electrical. We didn't expect to rewire the whole house. So that was 10,000 to rewire. That's something you don't find out until you open up the walls. Yeah, <laughs> we thought it was decent. It's not knob and tube, so we thought electrical was decent. Um, but the previous owner did it all wrong, so it wasn't up to code. Got so it. rewire the house, 10,000. All the recessed lighting, another 5,000. Mm -hmm. um, the landscaping was really expensive. Right. We had to do sewer lateral, so that was another six grand. The mm -hmm. driveway we didn't expect, five mm -hmm. grand. 
Um, and then we had to add the bathroom. Originally, we weren't planning to add the bathroom, mm -hmm. but since we added the bathroom, um, that cost another probably 30 grand. So 10, 15 grand labor, and then um, five grand for materials, mm -hmm. then all the extra fees, like permit fees, things like that. Yeah, but adding a bathroom really adds a lot of value to the home. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully it, it uh, came back, it's worth the investment. Mm -hmm. um, luckily, because it's such a hard market to sell now, mm -hmm. so I think the buyers like the 3-2. So we kept it 3-1, I don't think we'll hit the same price. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. When the market is tougher, with more inventory mm -hmm. and higher interest rate, buyers are more picky, and yeah. it pays to um, really put your house with like all the designer touches that mm -hmm. you use, and also have the additional bathroom. Yeah. So it's more convenient for the buyers and make it hard for them to resist. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> and then it's a small floor plan, so a lot of buyers are deterred from that. It's only 1150 square feet. Right. So we have to maximize every foot in this house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So make the bathroom nice, the kitchen, everything. Yeah. So they really fall in love with it. Right. Um, so this one, let's say we got it for 820, we put in 200K, we're already at a million. And that's not even including holding costs. Right. So we have holding costs and then we, we're, we're in contract. Hopefully we close next week. We're in contract for a million 150 or so. Okay. Um, so there's a little bit of profit, but I don't think we make that much on this one. After closing costs and hard money and repairs and all that. But it's, it's good that you are making some profit, yeah. <laughs> even though the market changed yeah. while you are working on the project. Right. right? Originally, we were thinking we are going to hit 1.3, but the market slowed down, so it only went to 1.15. So it's about 10%. Drop. Right. Yeah. Yeah, but I think you, you've learned some good lessons <laughs> and also um, it it's really tough when the market changes on you right. while you are midway in the project. Yeah, exactly. So you still came out pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Luckily we didn't lose money, so we're yeah. happy just to sell it to move on to the next one. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. Cool. And um, thank you so much for sharing with us all the numbers and all your learnings. Yeah. And we really enjoyed this tour with you. Hope you will come back on the show again <laughs> soon. Yeah, we'll see you at the next flip. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, smash the like button below and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.